Hey guys, welcome to our second screencast on sustaining terrestrial biodiversity. Last screencast we explored extinction and the three levels of extinction. We also discussed how extinction has and always will be probably a natural process to some extent. Uh, there has always been a natural background rate of extinction. And if all species are going to eventually go extinct, well then why should we really be concerned about protecting species on planet Earth? Uh, it's an important question. And uh, many argue that there's three main reasons why we should be protecting terrestrial biodiversity. Um, one is that the fact that species have an ecological value. They're part of a critical life support system here on planet Earth that allows our planet to function properly. They have what we call natural services or ecosystem services. Uh, for example, pollination, pest control, as certain species and predators keep other populations in check. Some species are classic climate control agents, right? We know certain plants are, are all plants, really, those that undergo photosynthesis, help to sequester carbon dioxide, keeping the levels of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere at a lower level. We know some plants have an amazing absorbency in terms of their sponge-like capabilities of mopping up excess water and controlling flooding. Plants also, we know, stabilize soils, preventing erosion. So all of these reasons are what we call natural services or ecosystem services that give our biodiversity an ecological value. Aside from their ecological value, you could certainly argue that they have an instrumental value as well. They help humans not only to survive, but to thrive and to make money. They have what we call economic services. And, you know, all of our natural resources, such as lumber and paper, our food production system, is derived from biodiversity. Medicinal plants found in tropical rainforests. Our top nine out of every ten prescription medicines were originally derived from some sort of plant compound. Uh, and so, as a result, biodiversity has amazing instrumental value. Uh, you can certainly speak of ecotourism, where certain countries like Costa Rica derive half of their GDP from the recreation and aesthetics of ecotourism. People coming in to visit those lush tropical rainforests, spending money, creating revenues, and ultimately creating jobs. And, and I think that's important, guys. If asked to describe the economic services, of biodiversity, it wouldn't really be sufficient to say lumber or paper. You need to somehow tie that to money, right? So the sales of lumber or paper, creating revenues, or the creation of jobs. Make sure you always link it to money somehow. Finally, a third value of biodiversity is more of an ethical or a moral value in that all species have the fundamental right to live. They have existence values, regardless of the value that we place on it. So we call these intrinsic values. 